Today's hot topic is muscle contractions. This is a super cool phenomenon when our neurons and our muscles coordinate with each other to allow us to move as we wish. So let's talk about our voluntary muscles. It all starts when a neuron receives an action potential from its beginning of its axon. And this action potential goes all the way to the end of the axon terminals and the neuron is going to release acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter. This neurotransmitter is specific to the muscles that we can choose to move, the voluntary muscles. This acetylcholine is going to travel through the synapse and it's going to bind to an acetylcholine receptor at the neuromuscular junction. This is when the muscle receives its first message that it's time to contract. This acetylcholine on its receptor is going to cause the neuromuscular junction to depolarize and that activity is going to travel down these T-tubules in the neuromuscular junction. As we depolarize the entire myocyte, we start having the sarcoplasmic reticulum emptying and emptying and it's releasing tons of calcium inside of the muscle. This calcium is key. Without it, these muscles won't contract. The calcium is going to bind to the troponin um, within the sarcomeres to cause the myosin and actin to interact and shorten. This is what's going to cause our muscle contraction. Now this entire process within the sarcomere can warrant its own video and we'll talk about that at another time. But now we understand how the neurons tell the muscles to start muscle contraction. Let us know what you think and comment your questions and comments down below.